guys, welcome to my Project Tim Pan update. Um, I did an update for my finished five by fall and the Project Tim Pan has taken me a while to get done because those items have been kind of a little bit on hold but at the same time I've been using a lot of them. A lot. <laughs> so, but I just hadn't been able, I just hadn't gotten around to um, actually filming an update. But here it is for you and I'm going to go in order of annoyance. Um, in order of the products that I'm most annoyed to use. So, number one on my list has to be, number one on my list has to be the e.l.f. blush and bronze. This thing I use with every single, 99% of my makeup applications, of my makeup looks have this in it, even though it doesn't seem like it because I look pretty colorless. But yeah, I've been, here's the proof. I've been making a really good progress on this one, which is the bronzer. On this one, it's a little bit slower of a process because I only use it, well, obviously on my cheeks. And, but I do try to use it every time I put on makeup and sometimes I'll use powder blush on top and sometimes I won't. But I will be happy when this moves out, moves out of my collection because just cream products aren't my thing with my oily skin um it's just no i don't know this has to go but i have been making progress on this so this makes me happy next product that i've been trying to use up is my elf eye whitener in pearl white this little sucker right here um it's actually really easy to use because it's so creamy and so soft you have to sharpen it practically after every other use um and but the only thing i use it for is to brighten my inner corner, the inner corner of my eyes so it doesn't get a whole ton of use but I do try to use it every day. And here's my progress on that on my sophisticated um, progress cuber right here. That's my progress. Right here on this, I started up here, now I'm down here. So this, um, it's I shouldn't have problems finish this Finishing this. I guess I should try to use it like as an eye base sometimes and that'll help it go way, way quicker. Now I have my pro, uh, my professional face primer. I have forgotten to use this. It kind of, there's no excuse. But I've forgotten to use this. Um, I did make a little tiny, tiny bit of progress uh, right there. Last time I checked, I was right here. Now I'm down here, which is like basically nothing. It's nothing but and this is basically a cheat product because it's like so small it's a deluxe sample size it's not that big and it there should be no excuse for finishing this but i should have it done within the next one or two weeks hopefully next is my tarte baby cream concealer um this i actually do use a lot but i only use it again to like for my really dark circles and i forgot to put it on today but I've been making really good progress on this too. I Although, who knows, because I've had this for a while. But that's because I stopped using it as well. But now I've been using it as much as I possibly can. And I've been kind of like just working on just hitting the edge of this pan rather than just going in circles. I have no idea why I started doing that, but... That's what I've been doing. So that's the progress on that one. Our foundation, I like this. I actually like it, but it really has to go. It needs to go on to pass on to better life because I've had this for a while already. And um, again, I haven't made too, too much progress because I've been kind of using other stuff as well. There's not that much left. I do have one swap item. This is my Wet n Wild lipstick and don't blink pink i haven't done i've done like maybe a microscopic amount of progress on this because it's a really really bold bright color and it's a lot in here and i don't wear this too often so i decided to swap it out for my avon glossy lip pencil I've had this thing for a long, long time and I'm going to do a video on this and similar products that I have that have been in my collection for a while, but anyway, so I'm going to switch it for this one, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now over the 
bitter lip liner so I'm switching this out because to me this is more realistic than this lipstick so this one I will have no problem doing that so that's my swap on the project 10 pan which brings me to my bitter lipstick from elf and on this one I have made a little bit of progress I have um, I would I would use this for just basically lining my lips but I'm not a big lip liner person I always forget so I've been kind of using it just um, as a lip base rather than a lip liner and like I said I have this I'm wearing it under the Avon jumbo pencil glossy pencil and um, that has been my progress right there last time I was in this one I started out in this one and now I'm down here which for me is a major accomplishment believe it or not and on my handy dandy scorekeeper or handy dandy tracker you can see my progress on this from when I started to right now and um, this is actually makes for a really good matte dark red berry kind of lip and it lasts a really long time so I'm starting to like this pencil there might be hope for this yet now I have my physicians formula mosaic powder <sighs> this thing really really this is my progress that's where I am right now and this right here is where I started which is this little tiny one I haven't been marking it anymore um, because like it's there's no point for me there's no point like as long as I see my starting reference point and where I'm at right now I've been doing okay with this powder I kind of haven't been using it I use it all the time I use it every day um, but I have noticed that it shows up kind of dark on my skin now so I would need a lighter powder but if this was lighter it would be perfect but I still like it and I am making progress on it so I'm really excited for this little guy to go up to Project Pan Heaven because God knows it has to go so my German Blend setting powder this one I have been liking a lot I am not a loose powder translucent powder kind of person but using forcing myself to use this has really turned me on to loose translucent setting powders or just translucent setting powders uh, themselves because they're not going to add color or tint to my face I can use them whenever any season any time of year so I am loving translucent powders and this one it's really hard to tell to measure progress but I am for sure certain that I've been using this every day and I use it a lot sometimes to like um, if my face gets oily or whatever a little bit I'll put some of this on but um, this is my progress right here that's where I started this is my first update and I'm here right now so there's not too much left of this but this is almost gone and I do have an elf powder waiting for me a translucent one but I am not sure I'm gonna like it as much as this I'm gonna use it a little bit and I'll see if I like it or not last but not least is my elf primer this one I use religiously day by day every day and I've been making awesome progress on this as you can see right here BAM from when I first started to right now it's a huge difference so there is really not much product in here left so that is it for my um, for my update for my project 10 pan and I'll be doing my intro for the 13 by Halloween and that has me really really excited I already picked my 13 products and they're products that I think I can handle to finish by then so I'm excited to get that out there anyways keep a lookout for my um, finish 13 by Halloween and my other project pan updates as well as my finish 5 by fall I'll see you guys in my next one bye